you may remember the story of the poor woman who um, was hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2013 and she veered off trail for a bathroom break and then got confused in the thick woods of Maine, couldn't find her way back to the trail, and then uh, over a period of about three weeks ended up starving to death and it was a good two years before her body was found. The sad thing is, this need not have happened. All she really had to do is take a compass bearing before she got off trail and she would have been able to find her way back. The irony is, she did have a compass with her, but didn't know how to use it. I'm gonna show you how to take a quick reading so that when you go off the trail, you can find your way back. So the first thing you need to do before going off the trail is just have a look around. Look at what's near you. For example, there's kind of a low hanging wide tree here. Um, rocks, look, there's a big rock right here. So these are landmarks that you can use to uh, to know that when you've gotten back to the trail, you're in the right spot. So once you've gotten your, your bearings here and looked for landmarks, take out your compass and hold your compass kind of as level as you can because if the compass is tilted, the needle is not going to swing freely and you're gonna get a false reading. Kind of, um, Imagine there's a, a table coming out from your navel and you, you're trying to balance the um, the compass on that table. So right now you can see that the compass needle is facing a certain way. The needle always points to magnetic north. Uh, I want to go off trail over here which is in this direction. The trail goes in this direction. So if you notice this compass has an arrow here. That will be your direction of travel. So again I want to go this way. So what you need to do first is make sure your compass needle is pointing north and then rotate, I'm doing this with one hand, forgive me um, for the unsteadiness, but move this so that the two bars on the compass are, are under the arrow. That's called putting red in the shed. So now the compass is pointing north and I want to travel in this direction. So if you project this line down, you'll see that I'm at 330 degrees. That's the direction I have to go. So let's walk 330 degrees the whole time keeping red in the shed. I'm not going to, you know, venture off too far. This is just for illustration purposes. But let's go over to this tree up here. Again, keeping red in the shed, keeping the compass level. Okay, so I've made it to the tree. I mean, I can still see the trail over there, but let's say I couldn't. So I've done my business now, and I uh, got distracted by, you know, a lizard, let's say, and I went over to look. Now I don't know where I am, but I know that I traveled 330 degrees in a northwesterly direction by keeping red in the shed. So now I have to reverse that to get back to the trail. So if you project the line from 330 straight down to the back, you'll see 150. See that? It's just cutting the compass in half from this point going down there, 150. So I know that I have to travel back 150. So I'm going to put 150 towards the top. 140, 
150. That's where I have to go. So now, as you can see, north is still pointing towards north, but I want to put red back in the shed. So I rotate my body until that happens. Okay, and there we go. So now, this is the direction I need to travel. So I follow the arrow, keeping red in the shed, and I'm going at 150 degrees. And this will take me pretty much back to my starting point. Very easy. Keep red in the shed. If your compass needle is black, then remember black is back. This one happens to be white, uh, and I don't have a rhyme for that. So, here's the rock. I'm back on the Appalachian Trail. Here's the interesting tree. I mean, you might be a few feet off to the left or to the right, but you will make it back to the trail. I hope this was helpful, guys. It's such a little thing, but it could save your life. See you on the next one.